to take over from President de Kufuado in the 2024 general elections is getting more and more heated as 10 aspirants, including some of the party's leading figures, jostle for the prize role of party flag bearer. Factors that will influence the decision on who becomes flag bearer of the ruling New Patriotic Party might be varying, but some hopefuls have time and again expressed their strong belief in long-standing service being their ticket to the coveted position. You need to vote for me because I am old and experienced in the party. I have your interest at heart. I appeal more to the swing regions. Others disagree, of course. When I sacrificed to stay in the dock at the Supreme Court, when they were finding excuses to defend the party at the court, no one said it is my time. But while these factors will be determined at the MPP Super Delegates Conference, slated for August 26, political scientist Professor Ali Dusaydu says the decision will be based on a fine balance between competence, trust and long-standing service. Experience and hard work is built on commitment and loyalty. So MPP as a party will acquire a candidate who is both loyal, committed, and has been with the party for all these years. But at the same time, someone who is more competent, more experienced, who is versatile and very hardworking. The 2024 general elections is in fact a critical one, especially for the MPP. And while careful selection of a flag bearer is needed, there are concerns that the Superdelegates Conference can lead to a split in the party if not properly handled. There have been this issue of establishment candidate. There have been this issue of one candidate being favored by government. If this is not properly addressed, it could create a whole lot of betrayal, uh, mistrust, and apathy. Whatever the parameters may be, one thing is certain, that out of 10 candidates, five will be shortlisted. Judith Awachitando. TV3 News.